We're talking to Robert, who is the amazing artist of these works behind us. And I love this one. So Robert, this one really drew me in. And there's a reason from that, because I'm from Brisbane, Queensland, and I recognized it. Can you tell us about this work and the inspiration behind it, please? Yeah. Well, it's based on um, Daintree Forest up in northern Queensland, yes. just north of Can Cairns. And uh, it was an amazing place. We had river, river trips and stuff like that. And... Yeah, it, it just left a left an impression on me anyway. So as soon as I, I started studying uh, things like the Amazon and the environment and things like that, I wanted to incorporate that into my painting. And this is what occurred, basically. <laughs> so <laughs> they're very photorealistic. So what yeah. drew you into photorealism? Because obviously nowadays people don't have such a big association with art and realistic works. Yeah. What drew you into that as your medium of choice? It's quite an old-fashioned uh, medium, really, isn't it, photorealism? And it's something that I, I was drawn to because I used to be a photographer very early on in my career. I was a photographer. Um, and realism itself is something that I sort of uh, look for in all the paintings that I do. Um, and then when you get them real, is, when you, get, you, you, you find realism, you need to smash it up a bit. So <laughs> uh, it... it it drew, drew me to things like the portraiture, where I would get the portraits as real as possible, as photo real as possible, and then put some energy into it, and we end up splashing all over the place with with paints and using paint uh, to evoke em uh, energy and 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 yeah. And Absolutely. So I mean, you've got the energy within these, and we'll get onto your are. portrait works in a minute. But these ones with your landscape works, you have the energy in there. You use it's all brush strokes, isn't it? Or do you use a palette knife? What is? How it's do you all, go about painting it's these? It's all brush strokes. It's all very small brush strokes. Very, very often, the energy in this is all all in the water. I believe is all in the water. It's in there. It has to be reflective it has to give you that feeling of of uh, movement uh, and the, obviously the the uh, re the relationship between the image and the water is is key if you get that right you've got it on as they do in this particular one and the the one below it which is based on a very similar situation i i did include orchids in these ones because they are native to the area of drain tree and also in that one there. So these are called Orchid 1 and Orchid 2. And people say, well, where are the, oh, oh, so these are. So <laughs> They're hidden away there. in the corner. Yeah. They're, they're in there somewhere. Yeah. you got to find them. With you, well, with you, um, <laughs> that's yeah. absolutely brilliant. I love your artworks. Thank you very much for taking the time to chat about these works with us. And I wish you the best of luck for this evening.